Hey everybody, it's Famine from Famine Studios. Uh, this is going to be the first of the vlog series. I want to get you guys a little look at what goes on in between the live streams and the long form content. So this week and I think last week we were working on the Lucky Raptors foot. Here is some BTS footage I obtained. By obtained, I mean I, I took the footage. So there's that. There was no nefarious means. Like I didn't have to you know, like steal a flash drive by swallowing it tied to some dental floss and then pull it out later. Um, you pick the direction that I pulled it out. But basically, I just, I do a lot of experimentation behind the scenes to see how I want things to be painted. So I figured I could work on the sign and just give it a whirl, just give it a try. And I like the way it came out. And then you guys see how I did that later in the actual video footage. Surprisingly, we, we made a lot of progress on this bad boy. And I did, I did pick up a couple of those blurgs, um, Amazon goofed, and I got a second one thanks to their mistake, so that's cool. But there's how the sign turned out. If you haven't seen it, there's a playlist now for this project, so you can go check that out and watch how we build it in real time, and I answer some of your questions. But that was fun, and then yesterday I went to a flea market in uh, upstate New York, and yeah, they had some crazy prices. $3 for a Final Faction Karn toy. I could, I could walk in and, and buy three of them at the dollar store. But anyway, uh, this whole lot here was 20 bucks. I, I kept myself to a budget, and I managed to get two Jawas, which are great. I like that one is shorter than the other. It gives me the opportunity to have some diversity in my, my little Jawas around the shelf. And I got a bag of Indiana Jones toys. I like the head sculpt on this one, not going to lie to you. It's also a little bit out of focus, but, you know, them's the ropes when this is a one-man operation. <laughs> um, I like the head sculpt on this, so I'll probably utilize that for something else and probably use his arms. Uh, I don't really like the gimmicked action figures. You know, you'd think the name. But it was in a bag of Indiana Jones toys, so I picked it up. The guy wanted 10 for it, and I got him down to 7. No idea who this is for. It says Fox, so I'm thinking maybe... Maybe a, a Jumanji? I don't know who owns the property for Jumanji. Man, I don't know who that guy was supposed to be. So, you know, who the hell knows? I got the, uh, one of the, I think these were desert, desert gangsters from Indiana Jones. But what I love about this figure, and I've always wanted them, I never had any luck finding them in the stores because people army built them for this purpose, is you could swap the heads, number one, real easy. But if you take that vest off, you now have a great body for, well, you do have a great body, viewer. Your, your body is wonderful and valid, and I like it. I like it. Anyway, you've got a great body for custom aliens, custom people. You can keep the vest off, put a different head sculpt on. So that was really great. Got a Clone Wars kit Fisto. Mainly got him for his forearms and that head sculpt. I love the the kind of Giga Chad hard angles on his cheek and jawline. So I'm um, glad that I was able to snag that. And he's got the cool, cool paint details on his hand plates. So looking forward to using that guy in a custom, and then I'll have other body parts. You know you know how this works. You guys have seen my stuff. Got a Wookiee from Episode 3, Wookiee Warrior. Um, he needs a bath. You can tell he was, like, in somebody's basement, which is, which is fine. Um, but he's got to get washed. All these toys technically should get washed, except for uh, that Mysterio you see hanging out in the back, which will get washed. But, yeah, there's a twerking Wookiee. I decided to make him twerk while I was doing that for my own enjoyment. That was just for me. Sometimes you got to do stuff for yourself. Glad I got this indie with the crystal skull. It's not yellowed or anything. Great body sculpt on there, so that's cool. But I'll probably swap the head if I use him as an Indiana Jones. But love the removable section of the leather jacket so I can do arm swaps. He's got a bag. This Mysterio came open, the package was falling apart at the store, but what I like most about this is I, I was, or at the stand I should say, as I was taking him apart to check out the pieces, that is Chameleon's head under there. So I can make a Chameleon figure off of that head and put a different head sculpt inside of that fishbowl. But, I mean, cool for five bucks. And then this was part of the five dollar lot with the Wookiee and the Jawas. It's filthy. But it's a little little speeder slash skyhopper. I don't know what the hell it is. Uh, it looks like it was a Clone Wars ship. But it will get painted up. And it will uh, will get used around gimmick. It'll get washed first. That's for damn sure. You can see just grime and grubby little kid marks. I'm sure somebody's child like just pawed all over this. I probably have a cold by touching that. 
when I'm not doing like direct work or my nine to five job, I will do things like this little maintenance projects like cleaning my paintbrushes, washing them, uh, you know, straightening the tips. Bent tips don't really work well for detail work. Cleaning my paint rack had a bunch of cat hair on it. And then I also like to look through character books and directories. I was harvesting some material that I'm going to be using on the the Lucky Rabbit's Lucky Rabbit's foot, the Lucky Raptor's foot, and I saved those wood sticks from the former project. This I got at the local flea market a few weeks ago. I think I made a reel about it, um, but I'm just like at this point I was just picking out colors and trying to figure out what I was going to do with this figure. He's five POA. He's going to be a background pirate, and then also. Again, here's me experimenting. I wanted a piece of modular terrain, so I used some of that diamond, and by diamond I mean brick pattern wall from our previous project, and some recycled foam, and just finished them up. And I, I'm, I'm happy with how both of these came out. I do feel like maybe I can mat down the pirate. You can see he's kind of shiny, which I'm not really a fan of, but all in all, I, I like how he came out. His head is a little shiny, but that was from the washes that I put on there. I think next time I'm going to try and make my own washes and see if that doesn't help cut down on the glossiness. But again, I can spray it with some Mr. Super Mattifying Spray and it'll blend right in on the shelves. But for a background pirate, I thought it was pretty cool. He's got, uh, I gave him an ion blaster, <laughs> gave him a red headband. And a very pink nose. That's my homage to Captain Jack Sparrow. Johnny Depp originally wanted to play him as worried about losing his nose for whatever reason. I just thought it was a cheeky pirate thing. I painted all the details on him, the leather straps, his bag, and uh, yeah, just dry brush the rest of him. I'm very happy with how he came out. So again, this is the vlog. I just want to thank you. And as a treat, you guys get my cat struggling. You looking for your brain cell, bud? Is it up there? Oh, big yawn.